Izzy Abanakunda is a home run hitting machine. The local kid was drafted by the Jets out of pit in the fifth round and is going to provide a perfect compliment to Brees Hall. So let's take a look at his film and I'll show you why Jets fans should be excited about Izzy Abanakunda. What is going on everybody? It's Luke here from Play Like a Jet and we're back with another film breakdown and this time we're looking at Izzy Abanakunda. I mentioned in the intro, he's a home run hitter. He's a guy who is explosive, and he actually has some similar traits to Brees Hall, who the Jets drafted just a year ago. With Brees coming off the ACL, and Michael Carter having a dip in form in 2022, Abanakunda could be a serious role player for this football team next season. So we're going to focus on a few things, starting with that home run hitting ability, then the vision, and also the balance after contact. We're going to start looking at the deep threat ability of Izzy Abanakunda and how he can take a play to the house on any given snap. So here he is lined up for pit. You're going to see the tight ends coming in motion. I apologize about some of the TV film. Tough to get your hands on some of the pit tape from 2022. Izzy Abanakunda just has unbelievable wheels. He ran a 4-4-1, but look at the way he reads out his blocks. That's what I like about Izzy. If he gets that space, then you can just see him gliding away from defenders. So what am I talking about here? Abanakunda does a really nice job being patient in the hole. It's very clear here where the hole is, but he sees his pulling guard coming across the formation and he waits and reads out that block, ducks to the inside as a result. And right now, look at the extra gear that Abanakunda has when he hits the go button and just that acceleration to pull away from two defenders. You're gonna see six or seven times in this video, two defenders on either side of him and they have no shot because speed erases angles. And that's how Izzy takes so many of these carries for touchdowns. From the same game, he absolutely destroyed Virginia Tech. You're going to see a very similar thing. Even better change of direction and vision here. You're going to see him get the ball here out of this little pistol look. Does a really nice job putting his foot in the ground, but then he also reads his second level block extremely well. He isn't in a hurry to duck to the inside. He sees the tackle ends up stonewalling him and giving him an outside lane, so he cuts back again and look at the speed. I mentioned speed erasing angles. What do I mean by that? Have a look at the safety flying across field here. He thinks he can meet Izzy Abanakunda at the hole at point A. Guess what? Izzy gets there first because he is faster, he is more explosive, and then he glides away once again. Speed is the most important trait at the running back position, and when you combine that with the vision that Izzy Abanakunda has, it's easy to see why he had 20 touchdowns in 2022. The last film looking at TV tape, I promise, and the last one looking at the home run threat of Izzy Abanakunda, this time in 2022 against Tennessee. He does a great job here. When I mentioned Izzy's game and skill set on the Play Like a Jet podcast, I talked about how it's a race to the hole and how all he's trying to do is beat the defense to the hole and there is a gaping one right here. And then the acceleration and the speed takes over from there. Once again, have a look at the angle of the safety. Abanakunda, I've got this guy. He's not particularly fast. I can cut him off in the hole. Look how he swerves, accelerates, and once again, makes him take a bad angle. On top of that, gets a nice block downfield, but still breaks the arm tackle. Right now, he's slowed down considerably. You've got a guy on his tails. Look at the re-acceleration ability. Pull away from him once again, and again, finish the play. What do the New York Jets want, and what are they covered at the running back position? A guy who can take a 20-yard gain and turn it into a touchdown. They're going to back themselves with Nathaniel Hackett to scheme up and to block enough perfect plays, and then they want guys who can take advantage of that, and Izzy Abanakunda is a great example. Running these inside zone looks, he had a ton of success at Pitt. You can see what he does to the, the angles of the second-level defenders. He's more than strong enough at 5'11 to break through contact and arm tackles, and he's just a very explosive football player. So let's pivot a little bit now and take a look at Izzy Abanakunda's vision and really focus on that. Thank goodness we have some All-22 clips to help us out. Abanakunda here again in the shotgun look. I want to point out the vision, the change of direction, and the patience. This is almost, and it's a very played out comp, but Le'Veon Bellish. You can see the way he cuts back here, does a nice job, and once again, he's reading the second blocker here, this time the tight end, to explode through the hole. But look what he does after contact. 
the ability to stay balanced, to work and drive his pad level and his feet through contact to break a tackle and get an extra 10 yards, that's huge. At the NFL level, you're looking for guys who can maximize the potential of each play. And Abanakunda does such a great job here of being patient in the hole and then finishing his run. Like, look how well he sees this. He's got the vision. He sees the Clemson hat to the inside here of his tackle. So what does he do? Foot in the ground. We're going to cut back. And then we're going to have another little cut back. Great vision. Great that re-acceleration. The ability to explode twice is huge. And Abanakunda has that in spades. From the same game, you're going to see a very similar thing, but this time it's more of a bounce. The hole opens up a lot more obviously on the front side of the play here for Abanakunda, but once again, he lets the pulling guard make his block and make the decision for him. As a young running back, it's crucial that you don't outrun your blocks. What does that mean? You can't get right up in the guard's space here. You have to let him make a decision, read and react to the block, and look at him again, break the arm tackle, and nearly take it to the house. The vision is impressive. It's probably the most important trait for me for a running back outside of the speed that I mentioned off the top. If you have the vision, the speed, and then the short area quickness and acceleration, which Izzy definitely shows off here, you've got a really nice package to be a good NFL running back. And the last couple of plays here, we're going to look at what he can do after the catch in this instance. But again, it's the short area quickness and the balance after contact. Izzy's lined up in the backfield here to the right-hand side of his quarterback, runs this little angle route, gets the football, and he's got two zone defenders in front of him. The first guy, bang, brushes him off with great strength like we've seen on a couple of these reps. But then look at the duke on the second linebacker coming down in space. Boom, put that foot in the ground, get around him, and the speed to capture the edge and take that for a touchdown. This is what I'm talking about. The ability to turn a mundane play where you just catch a little Texas route as a running back and you've got men in front of you, but we're going to break an arm tackle, we're going to out-juke someone out of their shoes, and then get to the corner with unbelievable 4-4 speed. This is the thing that excites New York Jets fans. Izzy Abanakunda isn't going to be Christian McCaffrey. He's not an elite-level route runner, but he's got good hands, He's got the ability to catch 30 balls a season, and he can be so, so explosive after it. In the red zone, we're going to see a culmination and combination of all the skills we've talked about. He's going to be running to the left-hand side here. Good patience to let, once again, the pulling tackle this time get to his block, make a decision, and Izzy Banakund is playing off the back of that, cuts to the inside, but look how he lowers the shoulder, gets underneath his pads, and he sledgehammers that ball into the end zone. Good vision, good change of directness and quickness and wiggle, and then the ability to finish. I like that combination from Izzy Abanakunda, and it's pretty rare. The Jets have got a really good player here, like a very, very good football player. There's a reason he had 20 touchdowns last year for Pitt. And the last snap, you want to talk about balance after contact, I couldn't leave without showing you this video. Abanakunda out of the pistol here, runs into a pack against Virginia Tech. You can see it's a third and short. He's trying to fight for that yardage. Can he get the first down? Look at the balance. Are you kidding me? It's like he shot out of a cannon, gets out of that pack and scores the touchdown. Having balance to break tackles, to sustain leg drive, and get the extra yardage is essential. And Izzy Abanakunda is special in this regard. Does a fantastic job here keeping the leg drive going, working through the tackles, a little change of direction, and then just explodes out. He's a really special talent. I love the kid. So that's the skinny on Izzy Abanakunda. He's explosive. He's got great deep speed. I like the re-acceleration and short area quickness. He's got good balance after contact, and he's got the vision that I covet from a running back. I'm interested to see what his role will be this year, but I think he will be RB2 right behind Brees Hall.